What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars and Empress Wisdom. What's good, Gemini, Twin Gang? Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I love you lots. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Um, this is going to be a love reading slash, I guess, regular schmegular general messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. This could be involving a soulmate, twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, anyone or anything regarding love in the next seven days for the sign of Gemini. All right. Um, energies can be vice versa. So get in where you fit in. You will know who you are in the story if you keep it in 100. Um, if you would like to donate to the channel, that information is down below and very much appreciated. Um, and if you would like a personal, that information is down below as well. So holla at me if you need me. Okay. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. What is Gemini's focus for the next seven days? Oh, also, I'm going to be doing what's, <clears throat> what could be blocking you from happiness or uh, a, harm a harmonious connection with someone at this time. All right. So anyways, let's see. Gemini, the next seven days. Abundance and truth. All right, so um, when your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Um, I feel like you guys are needing to um, check your intentions possibly, all right? Um, and you may need to tell the truth about something, okay? Some of you guys could be um, needing to see the truth that you are abundant. Some of you guys uh, may be feeling like, you know, your money could be looking funny. Things haven't panned out for you um, as far as finances uh, yet, <clears throat> But know that you are abundant and that's the truth, okay? Um, it says, see your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Like I said, for some of you guys, um, possibly being honest and telling the truth, speaking your truth is going to uh, bring about some type of abundance for you as well. So if you know you need to tell the truth about a situation, um, when your heart's intention is to serve uh, humanity, to serve good, when your intentions are pure and your intentions are good, that's when your abundance comes in, okay? So if you have bad intentions going into something obviously should probably you know probably ain't go pan out you know what i'm saying but um i feel like the truth could be being exposed to you um about your abundance or uh this is you needing to tell the truth in order to manifest abundance in your life okay so let's see um what could be blocking you <clears throat> what could be blocking gemini the next seven days what could be a block for gemini all right, so <clears throat> obsession. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Somebody's uh, throat chakra is blocked, okay? Maybe somebody, I'm definitely getting somebody may need to speak up, okay? <clears throat> Anyways, so it says obsession. This has truly gone too far. Your thoughts and intentions. What I say about intentions? Okay, anyways. So your thoughts and intentions have become toxic for you and for them. Let them go, my love, please. Okay, so um, there could be an obsession here. It could be uh, blocking your abu your abundance from coming through. Um, but something is, is has gone too far. You know, I feel like, um, you know, whatever thoughts or intentions were put into the situation, it was toxic. Okay, um, 333. I just saw that. So your your guys, your angels, I feel like they are trying to, um, you know, they trying to nudge to you, boo boo, that, you know, this obsession has got out of control. Um and what has been, there's a connection that you um, are dealing with this week and love spells has been keeping this going. Okay. So, um, there could be a connection where you've been doing love spells to keep something going, or it could be like, uh, somebody was getting love spells done on them. And then, uh, you know, you could have been a karmic or something like that. And it could have kept that person tied to you in some type of way, um, or some type of karmic connection that was made through some type of spell work. Okay. So I feel like, uh, whatever connection you are dealing with in the next seven days, uh, something is an obsession here, all right? And it's gone too far, and it is blocking your abundance, okay? So whether that's you being obsessed, you know, but somebody's obsessed here, all right? And definitely somebody's been keeping, uh, oh, I just heard keeping tabs, okay? So somebody could be keeping tabs on somebody, but all of that is a block to someone's abundance, so... Um, let's go ahead and see who you could be dealing with. Oh, I got to go all the way over there. Hold on. Okay. So let's see who's in your energy, who you're going towards, who's coming towards you in the next seven days.
All right, so it could be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This person could have life path number 11. Um, I don't know why I just heard brown, uh, brown skin. So this person may have brown skin, like caramel type skin or something like that. I heard um, brown skin by, is that India I think so. Brown skin, you know I love your brown skin. I think so. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like somebody likes somebody's skin, possibly, because it's like caramel or something. Um, this person could be a singer or an actress. Um, someone could have Jamaican roots. Uh, and it, I feel like somebody could also have Taurian in their chart. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, I'm going to take this one out, too, because I feel like you could be dealing with a Virgo and a Taurus, possibly. So it could be like a um, someone could be from Mississippi, have Mars and Libra uh capricorn in their chart anywhere all right or it don't have to be mississippi necessarily it could be someone from the south but um i feel like you could be dealing with two different energies here okay but let's see so there could be an obsession surrounding a third party situation because there's two other energies here but let me um you know what? I'm going to do something a little special for y'all before I start the spread. So um, regarding this Taurus energy, let's see. This person could definitely be a singer of some sort. Ooh, a sugar daddy. It says learn to be your own sugar daddy on this card right here. So um, I feel like this could be somebody that was a sugar daddy to you. Um, it says, and also the card says, harness the power of an unex uh, unexploded bomb. Always waiting, always ticking. So I feel like somebody could be a ticking time bomb. It could be surrounding a sugar daddy. Um, but it, um, and this is just from the card. I'm just reading what the cards say on here too because um, I'm being told to read this. It says, to ensure survival, prey must become hunter. So I feel like somebody could have been the prey at some point. Somebody could have been getting preyed on to uh, be someone's sugar daddy. And I feel like now somebody's like a ticking time bomb. So this person could be, like I said, a Taurus, have Taurus in their chart, um, have Jamaican or Islander. All right. All right. Yeah. I feel like um, this person may be showing you no emotion at this time because uh, they feel that they're emotionally controlled by you. So someone could feel that they were emotionally controlled in a situation with you um, and they were lacking the courage um, in this situation with you. That's why they're showing you no emotion now, possibly. Um. Yeah, I feel like somebody could have released um, released family. So you could be, this could be your family. This could be someone you start a family with or somebody you want to start a family with. But I feel like somebody may have, um, somebody may not be accepting that someone is going towards their twin flame. All right. Maybe you aren't accepting it or maybe this person isn't accepting it that you're, you know, that you are because, you know, energies can go vice versa. Um, but yeah, I feel like there could be a Torian that you're not showing emotion to or this person is not showing emotion towards you. Um, but I feel like somebody's not making a move here. All right. So I feel like, uh, if this person is not showing you emotion, don't make a move. Okay. Or they're not, they're not showing you emotion because they're not going to make a move towards you. Um, I feel like some, some of you guys, this could be a writer, so it could be a songwriter. Um, but somebody's focused on their stability at this time. Yeah. It's time to re release illusions about this situation. Uh, yeah. I feel like somebody, uh, there could be, uh, illusions surrounding, um, someone being a mother because it's the emperor status so i feel like somebody's not putting any emotion into something and not making a move towards something because there could have been illusions surrounding um a child possibly because it says you know the empress is the mother um but also i'm getting release illusions that somebody is going towards their empress somebody may have went towards their empress so i feel like yeah somebody um, needs to release illusions in this situation because somebody went towards stability and possibly their twin flame. And that's why they're not uh, showing emotion or uh, making any steps towards this situation here, okay? So that's either you or somebody doing that to you. But um, as far as this Virgo in here, Life Path 11 says, when it comes to art, all that matters is telling your story. So this could be a storyteller. Maybe someone is a truth speaker, truth seeker. I feel like this could be somebody who's been through dark times, but has overcame them. All right. Yeah, I feel like, let's see. this. I feel like this person could be a musician, too. All right, so this person may be traveling. Or you could be traveling. Um, 
with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, or somebody is traveling to go towards their passion, okay? I feel like somebody is uh, ignited passionately and they are receiving some type of promotion of stability. I feel like this is more um, angelic, so like heavenly. I feel like somebody is being promoted in the, you know, heavenly. Um, so that is creating abundance or a new opportunity or a new beginning in someone's life. And I feel like somebody, uh, this person may be traveling or in order to do that. Yeah, I feel like uh, somebody here is having strength and trusting themselves um, towards some type of new beginning. All right. Yeah, you could be feeling left out in the cold by this person or the situation, but somebody is destined to be an artist here. All right. So uh, maybe you need to trust yourself uh, about this situation, why somebody's not making a move. Um, but I feel you could feel left out in the cold by the situation um, and it's time for you to reflect on the truth. OK. Yeah, I feel like it's somebody could have went towards a twin flame situation. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into current energy <clears throat> for Gemini. All right, I feel like uh, somebody's having uh, new thoughts, new ideas. Somebody's thinking better um, about their situation, their new beginning here. This could be you. I feel like, um, oh, shit, somebody could be saying the fuck, you know? Okay, so maybe you saying the fuck because somebody is moving ahead positively. Maybe you see this person um, differently. Maybe you see, maybe you're like, wait, they changed or something like that, okay? Or this could be somebody thinking this about you, but somebody is moving ahead positively, and I feel like somebody could be like, uh, the fuck? Um, also, I feel like somebody could be trying to FaceTime, or you could be trying to FaceTime this person after thinking about a situation differently or seeing someone differently. But I feel like there could be some type of fighting involved, all right? So um, maybe you're, you know, somebody's having positive thoughts, or maybe this person's new beginning makes you want to fight okay so i feel like there could be some type of fighting uh surrounding a foundation surrounding money yep because i feel like somebody feels somebody uh, somebody has money coming in um and i feel like someone could be yeah i feel like you see you could possibly see this person as ambitious and passionate towards their goals it could be a leo aries sag it don't have to be but i feel like this person definitely uh you may see them as having money coming in or this person may see you as having money coming in and they want to rush back in and fight okay but um somebody definitely is seeing someone as uh like i said sugar daddy okay or it could be a sugar mama look i don't know um but yeah i feel like somebody definitely could be wanting to fight because uh someone's foundation could be unstable or somebody could be wanting a situation with somebody for stability this is all air so i feel like this is all your energy right here you could definitely be stuck in your head so you could be um you know this could all be a mental fight all right so that was some confirmation because my gym and i just came in um but anyway so i feel like you guys uh are taking a risk all right and you don't know how shit is gonna go it's kind of unknown um it's like a it's like the full card so i feel like you guys uh whatever risk that you're taking or whatever risk this person is taking it's uh going to result in financial stability i feel like this is you if you take a risk on a new beginning i feel like that is going to bring in a financial stability in your life um but i feel like you could be pissed the fuck off somebody could be mad Okay, um, somebody could be mad or somebody could be wanting to hold on to a situation. Uh, oh, it could be sexually. Okay, so somebody could be trying to hold on to a situation um, that is, uh, I feel like it's stemming from lust possibly. Um, but, and I feel like it's stemming from someone's lust uh, out for money as well as sex. Yeah, but I feel like somebody's emotionally unavailable to the connection or not, or is not showing any interest. Um, yeah, but I feel like, uh, you may not want to separate from this person could be, um, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo here, but I feel like, uh, oh, KO. So not hell. Maybe you want to knock this person out or maybe you want to knock somebody out or maybe you knocked somebody out. What is going on? Um, but yeah, I feel like something here is KO'd. Okay. Or maybe somebody got knocked out or something like that. Um, somebody could be struggling financially. Maybe you don't want to separate because of that. 
Um, but I feel like it's, you know, don't be trapped in your ego about this situation. Take this risk, okay? Because I feel like you may not want to take this new beginning or whatever because you're stuck in your head about it. You could be feeling miserable um, about it, but it's the end, too, because this nine is the end, you know, because once we go to ten, it's the completion. So I feel like if you're stuck in your head about some type of fight or something like that, um, think positive about your new beginning because there is a new beginning here and something that you know you're obsessing over it is it has become toxic and it is blocking your abundance okay um so like i said this could be someone you're obsessing over and you know um and if that is the case it's time for you to let them go babe okay um this could be an air sign libra gemini aquarius could be a taurian um a virgo could be involved as well but the letters i got is t R or J as the first or last name. Let's see what else I get for the next seven days. All right, so for the next seven days, for oop. All right, so um, you could be single, all right? Maybe I feel like there could be some type of competitive environment that you are dealing with or going into or going towards in the next seven days or... Um, I feel like somebody could be wanting to compete with you or you could be wanting to compete with this person. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. But there is some type of competition um, with someone who may be a little violent or rude, okay? Or because somebody was a cheater or something like that. Um, but I feel like that is leaving someone single but stable. So even if somebody is single, they'll be uh, stable financially the next seven days. So even if you are separated from this person or situation, I feel like you'll still be stable here or somebody else will be stable. We got all freaking, okay, so we had all air and then now we have all fire here. So um, we got the king and queen of wands here. So this could be a Leo, Aries, and Sag uh, couple. This could be, uh, shit, this could be two entertainers, okay, because the wands can be entertain entertainment, but... Um, if not, I feel like this could be too uh, Leo, Aries, or Sag. But somebody could definitely be, um, or this could be one person. Somebody could be trying to inter you know, interject in a situation. Uh, they could be lying, starting rumors, gossiping. Um, it could be uh, a, a little bit abusive or aggressive, okay? Um, but I feel like somebody definitely, um, could be, it could be like a competitive environment that you're going into or that, um, you could be dealing with in the next seven days here. All right. But I feel like it's going to result in some type of stability anyway. So if you take this move or make this move, I feel like they're, um, in the next seven days, there could be somebody coming around to start some type of, of drama or problem where this could be you. Okay. It could be surrounding a marriage, a commitment, someone moving in together. Um, I feel like somebody could be lacking financially. Maybe that's why somebody's coming in and start some drama. Um, but let's see, though. Let's clarify. It's a competitive environment in the next seven days for Gemini. All right, yeah, so someone could be um, the bearer of bad news. So I feel like somebody could be coming around um, to tell you some bad news or maybe you're finding out some bad news concerning your income or um your stability in some type of way, but whatever this is, I feel like uh, it's a loss of a fake friend or a companion, I, or, you know, I feel like somebody is losing somebody that was, it was a fake situation anyway, somebody was definitely being deceptive, somebody was definitely involved in some type of competition, um, and I feel like instability is indicated here, um, but let's see, I feel like you are, uh, even though there's some type of instability, someone is losing uh, a fake situation, or a fake companion, a fake lover, fake something, but I feel like somebody may try to come around. Um, there could be a separation, a breakup, a divorce, an ending with a Leo Aries Sag or with um, somebody that you could feel like they're a cheater or they could feel like you're a cheater. Somebody who could have been, uh, this could have been a very toxic, tumultuous, uh, violent, ab abusive type relationship. I feel like there's going to be an ending with this situation, all right? So there could be a breakup, a separation, a divorce. And it is going to affect somebody's money. It could be positively or it could be negatively. So some of you guys could be affected negatively uh, losing this situation. But I feel like it's going to um, inspire someone's creativity, okay, to end this situation. 55 could be significant as well. Actually, 555 is here. So um, I feel like there could definitely be a tower in the next seven days. Um, somebody, like I said, maybe, you know, 
that you had a toxic relationship with is ending a situation and it is going to bring about um, a change in someone's finances. So I don't know who you are on the spectrum of that. You know, if it's a situation where uh, you were the one screwing somebody, then it could be a negative change for you. If you were the one who was getting screwed, it's going to be a positive change for you is what I'm getting. Um, but I'm definitely getting a Leo Aries Sag here. Yeah, I feel like somebody um, could have been indecisive about two. All right, but I feel like peace and harmony is going to be restored because I feel like uh, there could be definitely somebody here, um, a Leo Aries Sag or someone's ex that could be lying, trying to create some type of uh, confusion, you know. Um, but I feel like peace and harmony definitely is going to be restored and somebody is going to get released from a situation where they were just holding someone back. Um, and this could be you or this could be the other person, but somebody is going toward peace and harmony in their marriage, in their new commitment, um, could be a new home, but somebody is going to get dropped. Yeah. Cause I feel like somebody could, um, have been loyal. This person, like I said, could definitely be an entertainer here, but somebody wasn't, uh, the, the relationship wasn't stable. Somebody wasn't committed or some, you know, to the situation, um, and I feel like now somebody's released in the situation because there's probably was fights about money. Um, and I feel like somebody could have been in and out like a lover friend type situation, you know, but, you know, and I feel like it's time to say goodbye to the situation. OK, and being stuck in your head about it because the obstacles that were placed in front of you are being removed. OK, so um, I feel like you should take this new leap of faith. All right. Moving forward, because uh, staying attached to a toxic situation is an obsession is an obsession and uh, or somebody's obsessed with you and, you know, somebody don't have good intentions. So it's time to, you know, break out of the situation. Yeah, somebody definitely was juggling, juggling lovers. Um, so somebody could have definitely been a cheater. Okay. Um, this could be a, uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo or a Leo Aries Sag. Somebody, this shit could have got abusive because somebody was cheating or playing somebody. Um, and I feel like, and then there was another person who was lying and gossiping and starting shit too. Okay. So it could be two, um, two people that's married or together. Yeah. But I feel like even though you're lacking financially, you have a new good idea and, uh, towards a new beginning, you just have to release fear. Okay. And I feel that you will let go of fear and move forward and allow yourself to be successful and ambitious towards, uh, new passions, new goals, new endeavors, a new beginning. Um, some of you guys, it's going to be a new beginning towards uh, a stable relationship, commitment, um, a love. So, you know, somebody is, uh, even more passionate towards their marriage or their relationship. Um, something is going to result in wealth in the long term for, you know, I feel like it could be a couple, uh, yeah, it could be a, a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yep. Somebody is going to receive some good news here. All right. So anywho, much love to you, Gemini. Later.